Okay, this is April 21st. Even though I say April 20th in the recording, it is a pissing contest with one of Congresswoman Susan Davis's assistants. Congresswoman Susan Davis. Hi, my name is Patrick Weaver. This call may or may not be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Is Michael available? Michael, yeah, check for just one second, please. Thank you. <coughs> April 20th, Thursday. Almost 10 a.m. I'm trying to get out of this alone. It's a little neurotic. This was my last year. Um, no one would confirm I was out of this alone. That's why I jumped on his case. No one. Yeah, Patrick? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Mike is actually unavailable right now. Would you like me to transfer you to his voicemail? No, I got a big problem. I sent in a cancellation letter yesterday to Bank of America, and they hung up on me today after 15 minutes. I just need a straight answer. Is my loan officially canceled? I sent you guys the same letter yesterday. Oh, uh, you sent it via fax? Yes. Yeah, we received the letter. Um, okay. Is this Mike? So can you guys resolve? He received the letter. How was he convinced? conveniently knowledgeable on certain things, and then adamant about not wanting to convey the message. Hmm. And let me know that my loan is done for sure today? I mean, Mike is the center that handles these type of housing issues. I'm not going to be able to speak to any of this. When will he be back? I don't know that exactly. He should be back today, though, at some point. He should be back today. Okay. Well, I need you to do your job and to get the message to him and have him call me by the end of the day. I canceled my modification. Navy Federal is going to take the whole loan away from those alleged idiots. And I need your help. So do you guarantee that I'll get a phone call back today confirming if the loan is done or not? I mean, I'm not Mike, so I can't guarantee anything that he's going to do. What I can do is I can transfer to his voicemail and you can tell him this is the voicemail. I want you to do something. I want Congresswoman Susan Davis's office to do something. I spent $50 on flowers for that woman, and she has done nothing to lift a finger to help me, allegedly. And now he's conveniently not there. Well, I'll wait till he gets back because I'm taping this. I'm tired of being dismissed by everyone. Would you like his voicemail or what are you asking? No, I'd like to speak to your boss, please. You'd like to speak to my boss? Yes. Just one second, please. You noticed he never gave his name. I'll find it in one of my recordings. Probably. I'm going to just let it go so you can see the Congress leaves people hanging. Great. This is Congresswoman Susan Davis's office. We're sitting on hold. Excuse me. Five minutes on hold.
Tony Patrick, you still with me? I am, and I'm still taping. Yeah, I'm very sorry for the wait. Well, Mike is my <laughs> boss, and I've gone ahead and tried to reach him, but he's not available in a meeting right now. What I can't do is tell him that you called, and if you leave a voicemail with your callback number. No, I ask you to leave him a message and personally guarantee me that he will get my message by the end of the day. So that way, if he doesn't call me back, I can hold him accountable. Because I know you did your job. And if for some reason you're unwilling to pick up a pen and take a note, maybe there's someone else out there that really needs a job that's not afraid to help the community. I'm asking you, yes, yes, I need to know if my loan is officially canceled with Bank of America. And I need to know today so I can sleep and get on with my life. Bank of America is not taking my phone calls anymore. Imagine that. That's amazing. It only took us. It only took us nine minutes. It only took us nine minutes to get here. And here, he never said he would leave a note. He just said he would leave a note with my name. So we're still having a pissing contest, apparently. And they're up there with Bank of America, as far as hold times go. I thought you guys were there to help the public. I sure am trying to help. I was trying to reach Mike. Okay. And what happened? He's in the meeting. He's unavailable. I can leave a note on his desk that you called, or you can leave a voice note yourself. And you personally guarantee me that he'll get it by the end of the day? What I can personally guarantee is that I can give him his voice note, or I can give him the note on his desk. I do not have his schedule in front of me. Okay. I don't know when he's coming back. But you said he's coming back today. That's my understanding, yes. Well, can you improve your understanding by checking with someone that might have the accurate information? That would be my candidate. He's in a meeting. Who else is there? Are you trying to reach someone else? Or yes, to I'm trying to reach someone that will actually do their job for a change, allegedly. You're, to do You're not. Well, then why don't you call Bank of America, since they won't talk to me, and say, hey, this guy is sick of the lies. Make sure his loan is canceled. I don't think I'm asking for that much. I really don't. Susan, you don't understand. No, I do. I'm at his next department. I'm saying that he's the person that can help you. With and he's your boss, so you do work for him, obviously. And he's your supervisor. Yeah. Well, who else is in the office there? Who's above him? I would like to speak to that person. About the housing issue? They're not, I mean, they're not going to be able to help you. That's Mike's department. And he's the only one that does it. He's, he's our specialist in the office. I need someone that's there now. Bank of America has been playing games for 14 months. I need to speak to a person. That would be wonderful. Yes, please. He's eight minutes into this call. It's like he wants to argue. I just needed help, and I was in a much more distraught place at that time. Back on hold. I must be patient, right? <coughs> Nine minutes. Patrick, you still there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for the wait again. Oh, no worries. He's going, yeah, Mike is going to be the staff that, that's going to be able to handle this. And Mike will be back. You went and checked with your boss to find out what time he'll be back? I, like I've already told you, he's in a meeting, and I'm not able to reach him at this time. Well, where did you go just now? Where did you, I'm on hold for 10 minutes now. I've been checking with, with our staff, with the other people in here. Well, well, when, you put, I, when you put a customer on hold for that long, you think you would go at least get the right information, like, what time is Mike coming back? But instead, you call me back and give me the same information. I need help. I, I understand that. I'm I'm trying to help you, what I'm saying. You're going to get a message to Mike. You're taking official responsibility of letting Mike know today that I need some help, whether you have to text it to him. Will you do that? Like I said, what they can do is I can put a note on his desk indicating the time you called and the issue you called about. Oh. So transmit to his voicemail. And the issue you called about, finally. It's like 10, 15 minutes into the call. That's all I wanted is him to take a note. You can leave the message yourself. Well, how about C? Leave a note on his desk and call his voice message and leave him a message that this is urgent. You have the same pain in the ass on the phone. You'll have two more days if you can confirm that my loan is canceled with Bank of America. Because you want me to leave a message on his desk and you also get to get your voice I want you to leave him a message. I'm holding you accountable. Because you guys have done nothing. What I can do for you is leave a note on the desk. And leave him a message on his phone, please. Thank you, Patrick. Leave a call. 
or you could transfer to Lisa. No, if you have more ink in your pen, you could write, Patrick Leva called, need a confirmation that loan is canceled with Bank of America. And then for you to call him and say, this is urgent, please call him back. Can you do that? Are you willing? Really I'm telling you, I'm, telling you, I'm, telling you, I'm, telling you I'm giving you my options because I've had it. And this is going on YouTube as well because you guys refuse to do your jobs when there's a lot of people out there unemployed that could do your job much better, much, allegedly. Much better. So if you can't do what I'm asking, let me speak to someone that has a pen with a lot of ink in it because obviously yours doesn't. Sorry, I have a pen, I have paper, but the next one that I'm going to call is going to be the same voice now that you transferred to. You have a cell phone. Who are you kidding? And you're not listening to a word I'm saying. I'm saying leave him a message on his desk that I need confirmation that Bank of America I'm has canceled my loan. No, you haven't. Done you done you said account. you were going to leave a message stating that I called. Well, put a little information in the message so he's not calling blind. He's got two days left to deal with me. I need something in writing. And so far I've been on hold for 12 minutes with you, and you're going round and round with me. I'm giving you the options that I can I'm giving you my options and you're refusing to do it so you can explain to your peers why your level of skill is lacking, allegedly. Because I've told you two things I need you to do. I need you to call Michael, leave him a message that this is urgent, and leave a note on his desk with a little bit more info than Patrick called. Do your job. I just leave a message saying that you called the time you called and the issue area. I said I'd leave him the issue area and then he can reference your voicemail you leave at his mailbox. No, you call him. You work together. You know when he's going to be back. I don't know what you guys are doing over there. He's probably sitting in the next room waiting. No, sir. He's in a meeting. Okay. Well, do your job like we discussed. Because if not, you can explain it to the whoever it goes to. Supreme Court, I don't know. But I have a lot of data on a lot of people that lie. Sounds <clears throat> like he hung up or I hung up. I don't think I, don't think I hung up. I don't know. Two things I wanted. Him to call Mike on his cell phone. In case Mike didn't come back to the office, he would have it on his phone to understand the urgency of it. And this guy just, you stink, man. 